Werder Bremen always score. They're the only Bundesliga team to register a goal in each of the first 29 matches this season. We take a look at the secrets to the Green-White's goals guarantee. Sure, Werder have outstanding individual quality in attack. Their players are threatening on their own. Kruse, Eggestein, Rashica, they can all make the difference. Kruse! Oh, what a hit! But there's a system behind Bremen's prolific form. Werder's attacking play sees many players forming triangles in their opponent's half. They have more than one option to combine their way through the lines. Bold possession play makes it hard for their opponents to defend. Their goal isn't to break through the centre, but step one, get down the wings. Only then do they play the ball into the danger zone. Step two, a recognisable pattern. Here is Kruse, in towards Rashid And he somehow squeezed it in. The match against Hanover. Again, there are four players in the final third, and again, they form triangles. They attack down the right this time. Step one, Eggestein's cross. Step two, the finish. Werder's weapon, Kohlfeld's plan. Bremen take more shots from crosses than any other Bundesliga team, and they're almost always dangerous. Werder have internalized this tactic, and it works against deep-lying opponents as well. What's noticeable is that there are usually at least three men in the center. Bremen always find what they're looking for. Pizarro! Oh, the man is just pure class! One factor is timing. As soon as a Bremen player finds space, the others know a cross is coming. This way, they're always a step quicker than their opponents, like Davy Klaassen here. Another example against Wolfsburg. Keep an eye on Max Kruser. He'd been going at full speed for more than five meters when the cross was delivered, meaning he only had to tap it in. It's a classic back post ball, and it's a classic finish from Max Kruse. Besides perfect timing, there's another factor, the player's movement in the box, behind the defenders. The Bremen forward closest to the ball teases his marker out of position, the others sprinting towards the far post. It's a good delivery, and Gabriel Tolassi is there! A tried and tested strategy. It also worked against Hoffenheim. This time, Osako comes short, which creates space for the other two to exploit. Only Bayern have scored more goals from crosses than Werder's 14. What's interesting is that the fullbacks and midfielders become strikers when Bremen attack. They draw their opponent's attention to create space. Nine different scorers from crosses shows extraordinary versatility. The most important player in the system is Max Kruse, Bremen's top provider with nine assists. He's unpredictable because he's two-footed, as Bayern found out. Cruiser's cross, Osako's header! The Bundesliga's crossing kings, Werder are coming and they always score. Hey everyone, it's me, Christian Pulisic. Ah! <laughs> Don't miss any of the Bundesliga action, subscribe here.